For the UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks, this is the final weekend of the Hockey East regular season, and there is oh so very much still to be determined. Boston College provides the opposition a home-and-home home series. The Conti Forum on Friday night, the Sangha Center on Saturday night. Yeah, well, they're an excellent hockey club. They've got a lot of offense. We've, uh, we've been good defensively this year, so it should be a heck of a hockey game. This weekend will decide playoff seating, and more specifically, who gets the first-round buys. BC and Providence are a lock. Notre Dame... BU and UMass Lowell are battling for the two remaining spots. Saturday is also senior night, the final regular season home game for Robert Francis, Michael Fallon, Ryan McGrath, Adam Chappie, Kevin Boyle, and A.J. White. For head coach Norm Bezin, it is simply the next two, yes, important, but the next two games on the schedule. I think it's an important weekend because we have two games remaining to refine our game for the playoff push. So that's why it's the most important weekend of the year. With uh, Boston College, it's always about uh, limiting their transition. They're a good transition club. They do well with the puck. Now it's a matter of uh, us trying to have the puck a little bit more than they, they do. Any opponent you're playing at this time of the year, it's more about their own game plan. Uh, certainly we're aware of a few things with Boston College, uh, taking nothing away from their decor, but their, their offense is their strength. and. Uh, their goaltending has been good this year. Our goaltending has been good. So from that matchup, I feel it's very similar. And uh, it's going to be really about uh, each team playing to their own strengths. And that brings us to the senior group. Francis, Fallon, McGrath, Chappie, Boyle, and White. And they have accomplished a great deal in a four-year period. 95 wins and counting, and built a bond likely to stand the test of time. Yeah, it's a very interesting group. You know, It's a very endearing group. Uh, this group also had, uh, obviously, Connor and Christian to it. Uh, they left after their second year. Um, it's a very productive group. It's a great group. I think they've done a lot of good things. Uh, they're narrowing in on uh, being the most successful class in, in UML history, and I hope they get that achievement. It'd be a heck of a legacy to leave behind. Gone really by really fast. Um, I mean, if we talked about it before, a lot of us can really remember just our first day being here, our first week, and uh, it's truly amazing how fast it has gone by. It absolutely goes by fast. I you know, still remember freshman year like it was yesterday, but. Um, I know it's been an awesome four years. Um, we've accomplished a lot uh, as a class and you know, as a team, organization. Uh, I'm not sure how to sum it up. I don't know if there's one word that really comes to mind. All that you know, I'm gonna look back and just think it's been a you know a great experience. A lot happens in your four years, and um, as most guys would say, you can relate back to when we came in the summer for for a week of orientation and training, and you got to meet your first. Uh, you got to meet your class for the first time and I think right then and there we knew we had something special. Uh, I played with a couple guys in junior hockey so I knew them coming in but uh, yeah, overall it goes by extremely fast and um, I definitely say it was probably the fastest four years of, of my life. I was thinking about it on the bus actually just you know about our freshman year and sophomore year uh, being in the dorms uh, playing in the hockey's championships and you, you know you look back and it seems like it was so long ago and I mean it was but it, you know, you look back at last year and it seems like it was yesterday and um, no, it's, it's incredible to think that uh, I've been here for four years. It'd be hard to put into words, but I think for me and I think for Boyle, Boyle would probably say the same thing. We came from a situation where we weren't really given a chance and, you know, we were kind of at the, at, at the end of basically our careers and we basically didn't see, a, a, you know, the, the, the light at the end of the tunnel and then all of a sudden UMass Lowell gives you a call and, you know, I, I grew a love for hockey. I grew a love for college sports again because I was at a point where I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love it anymore. I actually almost hated it. And you know, the, the coaching staff here, the the players here, the university gave me a chance to fall in love with hockey again. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I, I can't thank them enough for that. What I'll remember most is just the relationships that I've made here. Just. All the all my teammates here, the coaches, the staff, you guys, it's it's just been fantastic and the best three years of my life. Uh, if I had to pick pick one word, I'd just say memorable. Um, like I said, a lot a lot happens, but the memories you make from freshman year to senior year is special. And I think the accomplishments not only um, our class has done, but the teams before us have done is special and. And you can just kind of relate to when you leave here what what um, 
tradition you left? I hate to be repetitive, but you know the hockey's championships. Uh, you know freshman year being there for the first time, um, uh, like a real close game. You know beating BU and you know uh, being able to win that and head to the tournament and you know it, it all blends together. The whole fro Frozen Four appearance and hockey's finals uh, it blends together. But you know that's that's the one memory that I'll hold. Uh, Forever. I mean, I think you're always going to miss the, you know, joking around with the guys on the bus or uh, in the weight room and stuff. But I think if there's one memory that'll stand out, it'll be my freshman year at the Garden, just winning the hockey's championship. It was such a tight game, and the crowd was just incredible. And I think that moment has really stuck with me. For for me, uh, the first goal that I had against BC, that one was uh, that was a long time coming, and that one uh, was a lot of fun. But I think as a team, you know, uh, my redshirt year winning Hockey East was was really, really, really cool. And obviously being around the guys every single day and, you know, being with them every day, you know, you have your ups, your downs, but they're always there for you. It's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of, made a lot of good memories and uh, met a lot of good people and friends and it's just been a tremendous honor to be a part of it and be with the group of people I've been with. You know, they're some of my best friends. These six guys are great guys. You know, Rob, I came with him. Um, as, as he was my red shirt with me, um, so we got really close that year. And the other guys, you know, they just they've welcomed me with open arms. And you know, I can't thank them enough for for what they've done the past three years for me and for this team. You know, they've left a great legacy um, that will be remembered forever here. So. The guys before us really really brought us up and showed us the ropes, uh, showed us what low hockey is all about. And I think our class from the beginning to now. Um, we can leave a little something for the, the younger guys and hopefully they can carry that on. We all get along really well. Um, we have lived together, have classes together, and you know, we're just always around each other. We you know, joke around, we all just like being around each other. And I think that kind of just goes back to the guys that you know were juniors and seniors ahead of us. They kind of showed us the way and kind of how to be. So I think that kind of got us closer as a group. and learn from you know older guys been in the making uh, f freshman year we got along pretty well uh, we were spread out a little bit but sophomore year we we uh, all lived together so that was a great experience and uh, most of us uh, are all part of the same major so we have a lot of classes so we spent a lot of time together and uh, it's been a been pretty easy to get along with each other uh, I mean we joke around a lot and uh, I think we've got a really nice uh, tight group from the starting seniors and working our way down.